You want to know what's awesome? Classic WoW. And you want to know what else has been surprisingly awesome? Shadowlands. That's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about Classic WoW and how its success and its launch clearly had an impact on Shadowlands. But first, we got to roll that intro. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys about something. I'm a Classic WoW fanboy. And let me tell you, I played the Shadowlands Alpha, I played some of the beta, but there were certainly some things that I liked about Shadowlands as I played it, but I was not really all that hyped for this expansion. In fact, I'm pretty sure that most of us were not that hyped for Shadowlands, judging by my YouTube comment section and some of the comments that you guys were leaving on my Shadowlands videos. In fact, guys, I actually canceled my Shadowlands pre-order. Yeah, I, I, like I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna play Classic. I'm gonna play Classic TBC when it comes out. I'm just gonna skip this expansion and then I'll play the next one. But come on, man. I've been playing World of Warcraft since 2005 and that like, uh, like I, I can't miss a WoW expansion, I thought to myself. And as I thought about it more, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play this expansion, but I'm just gonna do it for the community. I'm gonna do it for the Twitch viewers. We'll do community raids and mythic dungeons together. That'll be fun, regardless of whether or not the expansion is good or bad. It'll be something cool to do. So I reordered it. The expansion came out and... All right. <laughs> I, it was a nice surprise. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Honestly, though, guys, can you blame people for not being that hyped for Shadowlands? I mean, come on. Look at Warlords of Draenor. Look at BFA. I mean, BFA was BFA, right? Legion was pretty good, but I, I think people had lost a lot of faith in Blizzard. But, dude, Shadowlands, it launched, and let me tell you, I was loving it. And it really seems like people have really warmed to this expansion and are really genuinely having a good time. From the beautiful new zones, the strong push for storytelling in this expansion, the cameos of fallen lore characters from days past like Uther, who became an edgelord. Thought you were better than that, Uther. Come on, man. To the sheer effort on display with all these flashy new cutscenes. They even somehow got lip sync in this cutscene in the Maw. How the heck did they do that? It looks amazing. Now do that to my character, make my character lip sync and say something like, uh, or something. I, I don't know, just do something like that, that'd be really cool. Guys, I was getting the wow fire back in my belly, if you know what I'm saying, and as I was playing through this expansion, and as I was leveling through the zones, Bastion and Revendreth and all these places, I was thinking to myself, you know, something about this feels kind of familiar. It feels like a, a game that I recently have been playing. Sort of feels like, little bit like classic wow now before you all hit that like button because i know you're gonna 100 percent agree with that and say yep 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 and you're gonna say yeah dude your your opinion nixium is so goddamn on point listen let me explain it all began with the fact that i was playing on a fresh brand new world of warcraft account normally i play eu but i'm playing us this expansion so i have this brand new wow account i ain't got no epics I ain't got nothing on this Nixium Death Knight character. And let me tell you something. I'm sure you guys that are decked out don't have to deal with this, but if you are a freshly boosted character, you better pay attention when you're leveling or you are going to get your ass kicked. I really had to watch out like how many mobs I was pulling or else I was going to die. Guaranteed. Now, I'm not saying that this was some brutally hard challenge that was like trying to stick your dick into a concrete wall but there was a bit of a challenge element there and of course there's also elites wandering around in the zones that you need to pay attention to otherwise you're gonna be doing a corpse walk Hello, darkness, my old friend. i found myself actually thinking during combat using my cooldowns wisely approaching things differently I, I, like I'm, I'm just used to slamming my face on the keyboard man and having the game praise me for it i mean that is the death knight experience that's how it's been for years right guys right death knights raise your hand we, we can all agree with that paladins too you guys just smash your face on the keyboard fucking hate you guys stop bubbling i'm trying to kill you anyway the increase of the strength of general mobs, having elites wandering off the screen, it just had this OG feel of danger to it. 
as frustrating as it could be. Also, besides the main campaign storyline, there were a ton of side quests in this expansion that had their own little flair and stories to them, some having absolutely nothing to do with the main storyline of the game. It just shared mini stories for you to enjoy that fleshed out the happenings of the current zone that you were leveling in. Now, Classic WoW, dude, Classic WoW had these things scattered everywhere and some of the most memorable quests from back in the day actually were just side stories. For example, anybody here know the legend of Stalvin Mistmantle? Of course you do. And then, all these traits came together though, once I hit level 60. Dude, I felt like a bitch. Like, I don't know how else to put it. Mobs were killing me, pulling too many things in the maw was a pain in the ass. Like, it was a pain. And I felt like, man, if you really want some god status in this game, you really got to earn it. You got to go do the raids. You got to go do the dungeons. You got to get that first legendary. You know what I mean? So for the first time in such a long time, I was genuinely excited when I got a new piece of gear in the game. And there was this noticeable difference in the strength of my Omega Chad DK. Hell, they even brought back the set pieces from yesteryear, man. Like, you got to love that. The flow and the progression in this expansion feels old school, but with a stunning coat of paint. Even food has a tremendous use here since mobs actually do damage and you don't just regen health at a million miles per hour. I'm actually cooking food and eating, man. Even profession gear, like I was leveling blacksmithing and I found that the blacksmithing gear that I could make was actually better than the quest reward gear that I was getting, which was like, yes, 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 it's good. All I'm trying to say is that if you're not playing a class with a flat-out healing ability, covering out of combat is best done with some good old cooked whatever the hell you loot off of the corpses of corpses. Can you die if you're already dead, technically? Why would ghosts even have these items? Like the, the leather shoulder pads or whatever. How do you cook meat in the spirit world? You know, never mind. These were the main things that stuck out to me during my playtime, which isn't heaps, but I have enjoyed Shadowlands so far nonetheless. For the first time in a long time, I'm looking forward to logging on each day and exploring the game, and that makes me happy. Like, I get it. I know that some people out there probably don't like Shadowlands. I know there are people out there that all you care about is classic, and you don't care about modern WoW, you know, whoever you are. But honestly, I think that the success that Classic had, it really showed Blizzard firsthand what can and still works in this new MMO environment. And hell, if we do get the Burning Crusade Classic, like, like who knows what the future holds for World of Warcraft going forward. But now, I want to hear from you guys. We've had a little bit of time to digest Shadowlands. What do you think? Do you agree that Classic WoW has had a major impact on some of the changes that Shadowlands has put forward? Perhaps you think that Classic WoW had nothing to do with these changes, and, you know, hey man, uh, uh, leave a comment below and say that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Targast is great, dungeons have been a ton of fun, I've really enjoyed the new raid so far, it's been awesome, man. But I'm gonna wrap up this video here, we'll do some big Shadowlands, you know, full review later on down the road once we're out of the honeymoon phase. I'll geek out with you guys about that another time. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Subscribe if you want. Hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. Hope you all are enjoying Shadowlands. I hope that the game is putting a smile on your face just like it's doing for me. I hope you guys are enjoying Nax Ramus. Yeah, dude. And I will see you all in Maldraxxus. Because we all chose Maldraxxus, right? Because it's the only good covenant. We can all agree with that. Yeah.